afternoon. It's April the 8th, 2024. And if you don't know the significance of that date, then you probably just missed one spectacular total eclipse. Where is all the water? Not knowing anything about this area, we chose this road because after doing some research, it looked to have several decent water crossings. At least that's what we saw on YouTube. We obviously hit this in the dry season because, as you saw, there was hardly any water in the creek crossings. And mostly, we encountered concrete slabs over the creek, making for a somewhat boring start to our overlanding adventure. The stretch of trail we are on now is the best this particular road has to offer. But don't tune us out just yet because as we start heading towards our campsite on Lake Washita, it's going to get a lot better.
was deeper than I thought. Yeah, we developed a little squeak after that puddle. It finally went away, but you know, it left us a little gunshot. Well, enjoy this epic ride down to an epic spot. So much for that epic campsite we had picked out. We sure were disappointed that someone had already grabbed it. On to plan B. There's still a couple more offshoots of this road that look like they lead to the lake. Plan B was a large site, but it wasn't lakeside, so we tried the next option and ended up with a pretty good site. Third time's the charm, I guess. Check it out.
so we just got on trail and not too far not too far along the way we run into this little lake here a little pond and it's pretty and you can camp here let me show you around supposed to take us along the top of Dutch Creek Mountain all the way to the upper tip of the Wachita National Forest. However, about halfway through that route, we encountered a dirt mound that forced us out of the forest. I believe there was a workaround that would have gotten us back on the route, but by that time we were running late and were due to meet up with Melissa's parents at Cove Lake Campground. Now we did find one more place to explore though. Check this out. overlook here and it's not really a, a long or hard trail but I tell you what it's hard to beat these views so I'm gonna just walk in here and show you a few views and we're gonna walk the trail
Good afternoon. It's April the 8th, 2024. And if you don't know the significance of that date, then you probably just missed one spectacular total eclipse. And that is the reason for this entire uh, trip that we're on right now. We're at Cove Lake Rec area, and this is uh, just down the hill from Mount Magazine and near Paris, Arkansas. And we are so thankful for our friends, Keith and Melissa, who got this trip together. We would have never thought about it, but wow, what an amazing event we saw. Well, here we are, ready for the eclipse. We set up the GoPro just to see what it would pick up on a time lapse. And as you're seeing, it only shows a large bright spot transitioning into a small bright spot, then back to a larger bright spot. Here it is again in slow motion. It's amazing how much light you get from just a small glimpse of the sun. I know what you're thinking. That's not very impressive at all. Well, fortunately, we had a professional photographer on our trip. So here's a few of his photos. What an amazing sight. This was our first total eclipse and we were blown away. Words can't describe what we saw. Anyway, where were we? Oh yeah, back at the campground. Well, let me just show you around because this is one cool area. It is a very quiet, family-owned campground and nice lake on it and two wooded loops, very spacious sites, $15 a night. I would recommend this to anyone. As you see, we have been able to do a little bit of overlanding. Uh, most of the creeks and trails around the Wachita were dry, but we did hit some mud holes that got up above our hood. Uh, which made us a little nervous. Here's our camp spot. We are in the next to the last day of our trip here. We're gonna lounge out since the eclipse has come and gone. And we're just gonna lounge out a little while. Um, tomorrow morning, get up and head toward Pettigene State Park and maybe do a little hiking, maybe do a little trail riding on the way, but it's really supposed to rain. So um, we'll probably end up just heading home after that. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this episode.
big storm rolled through last night, which made this short trail near where we stayed a little messy and muddy, so we took it. We have another storm coming in in a few hours, so we'll probably cut our trip short and head back to Alabama. This has turned out to be a great trip. So thankful to be sharing this adventure with good friends, going to cool new places, and seeing amazing new things. The trails and beautiful campsites along Lake Wachita make us want to come back and explore more, hopefully when it's not so dry. And we just can't say enough about that eclipse. Wow, we've never seen anything like it. If you have the opportunity to see a total eclipse, go. We're already making plans for the next one. Anyway, we hope you've enjoyed the episode and we'll show you some footage of our final stop as the last song plays out. As for now, keep it on the road less traveled. Dusty Bunts Overland and Adventures.